Hi there, welcome to the Willis Jim Show. So I just wanted to do a quick bit on gray hair because I am losing my gray hair and I'm pretty sure I know why. You see on my temples, I have just a little bit of gray hair left. It's kind of salt and pepper there. And I'm gonna make a prediction that I'm gonna get rid of all of it and it's all gonna be black again because it used to be white all the way up to here and really gray um, up until about, I don't know, maybe a year, year and a half ago. I've got pictures to prove it. So um, you also might notice that I've got a little brown spot forming right there. And that is carbon that is left over from a grease deposit that I've managed to get rid of. And that carbon is now free to come up through the skin um, via melanin. See, I think melanin is actually a magnet that attracts carbon and pulls it out through the skin. And I'll cover that later in my skin video. Um, but right now, as far as the hair is concerned, I see gray hair as indicative of grease blocking the skin sheath so that the carbon cannot make its way out. And the hair in this area specifically is using the melanin that is found in the brain, neuromelanin. And that's my theory of neuromelanin, is it's bringing carbon from inside my brain out to the surface to get rid of it, to exhaust it through the skin. This is an excretory function of the hair. So basing that theory, you know, along that theory rather, with the gray hair, I wanna give you a tidbit of data that I found in my research. You can look at field notes of chimpanzees, studies of chimpanzees from the 1920s all the way up to about the 1970s. And a couple things they're absolutely unequivocal on. And that is chimpanzees are vegetarian frugivores. And they also have documented, there are several paragraphs I've read, documented behaviors of the chimpanzees and the colimus monkeys and the red-tailed monkeys feeding in the same trees getting along with each other, no problem. Another thing I've noticed is that the older descriptions of the groups, it's unequivocal. The oldest males, the ones who are no longer competing for social status, have a patch of gray hair on their rump. Nothing about any gray beards. Now, on modern chimpanzee populations, even the younger males are starting to get gray all in here. And it's funny because you'll see a video where a primatologist is talking about a chimpanzee with a gray beard and he says that's a sign of a thinker. I disagree. That's the sign of a marginalized population that has very recently learned to hunt by watching humans and are just now starting to eat some saturated fat. And it's making them insane. It's making them aggressive. It's making them mean and they are starting to now become cannibals. This is a dead end. Ask the Iroquois. This is not healthy behavior. And so many people are trying to now take these modern groups of chimpanzees who are forced down to their last little bits of territory and show this hunting behavior that we can see. It, it, in the, you can't select this stuff. This is a new behavior. It's turning this gray. The saturated fat, the chimpanzee has no ability to deal with the saturated fat. And it's turning this gray. And like I said, this is my theory. And one other thing I want to call to mind, because I've told you about these happy drains. And I don't know if you've seen all the videos, but I've mentioned them a couple times now. And if I'm correct about gray hair being indicative of clogged lymphatic system drains underneath, then... When you see, and you see this in almost all of these overweight, angry, Western white guys with the goatees, you see these little white stripes right here. Very, very prevalent among a certain type of guy. Mm -hmm. My theory says, when you see these two little white stripes right here, you're probably dealing with a very miserable individual. So um, do pay attention and um, stay tuned for more tips and tricks to avoiding 
the uptight, angry phenotypes. Thanks for watching.